Hi, George. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. Thank you for coming to visit. Uh, I wanted to let you know a little bit about Material Connection and how it was born. Uh, about 13 years ago, it came up as a as a, a vision to me out of the blue that we realized that there was not a single place in the world where, which could be a library for materials and not just materials but unique materials because the idea of research innovation is very important today uh, you know technically according to the chart of uh, materials there are 110 technically categorized materials but from our point of view there are at least 6,000 in our own library of unusual materials that we have collected over the last 12 years. So we systematize everything. There's a very good order of how things are uh, entered into the library through a jury and we take this very seriously. It's about innovation and innovation is the key word to success today and we have these uh, libraries now around the world and it's also a very interesting idea because uh, the idea is spreading around the world fast not only to the professional world but also to academia what we love most is that students and universities are becoming seriously involved with us and they're getting material connection libraries inside their institutions mm -hmm. so we have a mini library uh, in, in many very good schools around the world. In fact, one of our first ones has now wants to become a fully licensed library to be like us, and, but open to the public, not just to the students. So I think that shows that there's a great deal of uh, opportunities in the future from professionals and from academia. So that's basically what Material Connection is and does. It has a strong responsibility for innovation, technical ideas, and it's not about nice things. It's not about beautiful things. It's not about just another beautiful glass and painted. And so it has no innovation. We're not interested. Uh, thank you. So the second question I, will, I would like to ask you is about what is the theme of the exhibition this year? Basically, you know, we cannot do too much in an exhibition, but this year we brought our, uh, we brought a partial uh, selection of our annual awards of the best materials. So you see those uh, yellow stands. The stands are basically an exhibition but this is only part of it. And we, every year, have the 10 top materials awards. And that's why we have that. Then you have two panels showing a, a slice of our library. That's our, how our library looks. And the, the tabulas, which are uh, each uh, made professionally, and it has the exact text of what everything is about. So we show people that and then the rest of the audience comes to our library which is not far from here and which you will see later. Well, who, uh, who votes for the selection of the... Uh, that's board? a very good question. The we have a very uh, substantial uh, list of uh, technology uh, experts. They are either professionals such as architects, uh, fashion people, industrial designers and sometimes uh, several often we like to have scientists also so we have a very nice mix of 10 people that meet once a month and these 10 people are responsible in deciding uh, which of the materials that we present to them will get accepted uh, so it's really about being very serious about innovation it's not about decoration so if it's technology then uh, it's a win-win situation um, so since we are in a furniture show, can you share with us uh, what's the uh, future material trend for furniture industry? Aha, uh -huh. that's a million dollar question because the whole idea behind your question is about being intelligent, creative, and to take materials that are not destined necessarily just for furniture, but 
for you to be inspired as a designer or a professional to use materials that are uh, cross-fertilized. In other words, it's from one category of uh, usage or uh, original intention of why it was developed and to use it in something totally different. We, we like the idea of being cutting edge and to being creative about that. So that it's not the table is not always in wood or always in metal, but then somebody made the table in glass. Shiro Kuramata made the beautiful things in uh, plexiglass or translucent materials. So I think the beauty of innovation is when you find things explored and, uh, and uh, applied in new ways. So I think that's a very good question, though. The idea of using cross-fertilize across the barriers from one to another. Uh, thank you for the very high cost answer. <laughs> thank you. That was a good question. You, you gave me good questions. I gave you good answers. <laughs> thank you.